What's up, everyone? My name's Kyler Holland, and today is Fast Friday. Yeah, that may be cheesy. It's where we talk about effects and transitions and everything revolving around filmmaking as fast as I can. And today we're talking about proxies. What is a proxy? Think of proxies as a low resolution video file that takes the place of a high resolution video file, allowing you to edit extremely fast. Let's jump into it. Before we get started, this footage was provided by Mock Filmmaker. I will link this video in the description and you can actually download Canon R5 8K raw video footage for free. So thank you for this because I don't have 8K footage. All right, so we're in Premiere and I've already downloaded all these video files. And if you look as I click through here, obviously it takes a heck of a lot of time to play through this. And if I try to just click play, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they So obviously this would be impossible to edit. Now, how do we create a proxy file? Well, in simplest terms, all you need to do is highlight all of your clips. So I'm gonna highlight all of my clips in my project window and right click and go down to proxy and then click create proxies. Now, as soon as you click create proxies, a dialog box is going to pop up. Now under format, I typically like selecting QuickTime and then you can come down here and select any resolution that you like but I found that I really like Cineform low resolution proxy because Cineform works on PC and Mac. Now under destination I will select next to original media and that will create a folder where these files are just to stay organized and all I have to do is click OK. As soon as you click OK Adobe Media Encoder is going to open up and start creating these proxies automatically. So as soon as Media Encoder finishes, you're gonna see that in your folder where all your clips lie, there's also gonna be this folder called Proxies. And in that folder, there's going to be all of your proxy files that you just exported. So what does this mean? Well, if we go back into Premiere, Kyler, it's still choppy. You, you can't scrub through the footage, it doesn't look good. Well, this is because we actually have to toggle the proxies. In order to do this, click the plus sign in the program window and that will pull up all the button editors that you can choose from. Find the one that says toggle proxies and then drag that down in the blue area so you can find it later. So now you have this toggle proxies button. Well, if you click that, that will turn blue and it will actually enable the proxies. Now watch this, this is 8K footage. You can literally scrub through this entire timeline, but keep in mind this is just a proxy file, but the playback is immediate. Now you can use proxies on any clips, but this is great because whenever you export, it will actually export that full resolution. So now we can head to the color tab and start adjusting our clip however we want. Now we can actually play this back and preview it almost in real time which we couldn't do with that 8K footage. So this is great when we're working with high resolution file formats because we can quickly and easily edit our footage with no lag. And if we go down to export, you're gonna notice that it's actually going to export at that full resolution of 8192 by 4320. Now I hope you understand why proxies are so important within Premiere Pro. If you have an older computer and it can't even handle the 4K footage that you're editing on, create some proxies and you will be able to edit so fast. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. I think I'm calling this series Fast Fridays. Fast Friday. I have no idea what I'm gonna call it, but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and as always, I'll see you next time.